friends, it's Tracy from Nova Scotia Living. I just brought stuff out to the compost. It's around nine o'clock. The squirrels are all around me. Um, and blue jays are over there. There's a bunch of them, so I can't name them all. I'll just call them my gaggle. I don't know what a group of blue jays is called. I should look that up. Might be a cooler name than gaggle, but gaggle's pretty cool. Anyways, I'm starting a new video because I think I squished the past couple of days. So, Anyways, it is Sunday. Every Yeah, I see six blue jays out there eating the food that I left. Just a minute. Okay, Google, what's a group of blue jays called? On the website wildbirdsonline.com, they say, a group of blue jays is often referred to as a party or a, a band. A party or a band. explain why blue jays often seem like they are hollering out. Maybe they just might be singing or doing the shout. To find out more, look for the link in your Google Home or Google Assistant app. All right. Uh, a party or a band. Well, that's good. I like the word gaggle better, but I'll save that for another thing. Usually that's like my pheasants and stuff. So my party of blue jays. Um, anyways, yeah, I'm going to go up and unload my film. I did bring out, I'm going to have to fold laundry today. Mazaya's up. Everybody else is still asleep. There's a basket full of towels and a basket full of clothes, but I'm going to go up and start to unload my phone and edit it a little bit and bring up some face cloths because when Maze gets up, I'm going to get him in the bath as soon as possible because what's tomorrow's eye? School! And um, yeah, anyways, I'll be back. Oh, I just came upstairs to unload my phone. There was five or six, maybe seven blue jays out there, but Randall just swooped down and scared a bunch of them away. So maybe Randall has to go get a bunch of his cronies to come and chase them all away because there's a bunch back there now. See? <laughs> you go, Randall. I'm okay with you sharing, but don't let them push you around. There we go. Oh, brazen little party goer. All right, guys, I haven't checked back in a bit. It's 10.54. I was upstairs editing the video, but it took way longer because I had to reinstall the new program, which takes an art, uh, a dog's age to do. Anyways, I went and woke Maze up. He's on his way down. I said, don't put clean clothes on. Just wear your jammies down because I'm going to cut his hair after he has breakfast and then get him in the tub and then he can get some something fresh on. Uh, Misha's making a cup of tea now. Um, I'll fold that laundry after. But yeah, at least I got, I know it's nothing you really see, but to reinstall an updated version of the editing program, it's quite a feat. bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time it's clear to see from up here the world seems small we can sit together it's so beautiful, you and me, we meant to be in the great outdoors, forever free. I didn't bring you along, but I just changed Maze's bed. Oh, it's kind of fuzzy. 
kind of uh, wipe down stuff in here. I vacuumed his mat. He's about to get in the tub. And yeah, so there's a reset. He did have a big box fan in here from the summer. I took it out because he doesn't need it now. He does have his space heater, which will come out from the wall when it comes time to use that. Woo! He does have a vent in his floor, but it doesn't do a proper job of really heating this wing of the house. But that's okay. Um, we got it sorted. All right, friends, it's 11.47. Maze is about to get in the tub. Um, I just brought down his bedding. I'll wash that. Um, I got these the other day. He didn't go to hockey on this past Thursday. Today's Sunday. He went to hockey on Saturday, but he didn't go on Thursday. But I went in anyways because I had made arrangements to pick up these plants from a lady that was selling them on Facebook Marketplace. So, I forget what some of them are called. I know I got a couple of Mothers of Thousands. This one's Ogre Ears, which I thought was cool. If I still have it in my messenger, I will check to see. These two are the same. She threw in a couple of little baby extra ones. She's very much a major plant person, like hardcore green thumb. Madam Green Thumb is what I'd call her. Right, Violet? Anyways, there's one under there. Anyways, um, she said they were just transplanted in these. She'd probably leave it a couple of weeks before you try to move them into bigger pots, two to three weeks, and they were watered. So I want to put some on the kids' windowsills because um, I would put some there, but I got my Halloween stuff and Christmas stuff will be going there. I want to um, put some around on the kids' windowsills. And yeah, um, they will have a curtain and like blocking them. I don't think Violet and Boris would get into them anyways, but I'm going to double check to make sure they're not toxic. Um, but I, yeah, Maze has a windowsill. Misha has a windowsill. What are you doing, bud? Uh, oh, we'll go charge it then. Anyways, yeah, let's go put some upstairs. There, I put the little ones there. And like, Misha, um, Violet and Boris don't come in here unless I'm in here or something like it'll be covered and those little ones will go there now I have a few other ones that are a bit bigger that'll go on other windowsills Friends, it's around 1 30. We just went for a little walk up and down the road. My dog's barking. All right, simmer down. Hey, no, I don't want you to trip me for heaven's sakes. Anyways, what I'm gonna do now is I cool off. I took my sweater off, I might have to put it back on. See this pile of life jackets and stuff that's gonna go in the shop. That was all on back of the truck from when we went to the lake. So I want to get this pallet cleared off and we got room in the shop for it so those chairs don't get sitting out all winter and I'll have to buy new ones again next year. Not cool, Tracy. So let's just take care of it now. All right. I left that helmet because there was water pooled in the bottom of it. I'll let it sit and put it in the shop later. But all the life jackets and inflatables and lawn chairs, camping chair things are in the shop. Well, I'm going to uh, do a thing of popcorn, and I have like a bucket of sunflower seeds and like bird feed. I'll do their afternoon fe feeding. Ooh. All right, guys, I'm getting a little cool now. I have my jacket here from before. Um, I just brought some cardboard boxes up to the garbage bin, and there was an old broke-up generator box in the shop. <sighs> For, because this coming week will be garbage week, and... Yeah, if it's left in the shop, I'll forget about it.
but it's out there now, so that's awesome. I just took a pill for my feet because it's sore. I'm not going to do much. Mally's in the house scrambling hamburger. Um, well, the kids can have nachos tonight for supper. I got Tostitos the other day. I have salsa. I have cheese. Put some hamburger on it. I have sour cream too. So, she's doing the hamburger and, yeah, doing nachos and, yeah, something easy, something they will eat and they haven't had that in a while. I see my husband's in the house making a fire, which is good. We'll need it. It's it's kind of chilly out. I need my jacket now for sure. But look at the sky. Isn't that beautiful? The colors, like the color blue coming through. I don't know if it's picking up real, real good on my phone. Nice cold fall afternoon with the fire going. The wind is breezing, but not too hard. Just, just a little. Beautiful. Oh my goodness, look at the nachos Nelly made. She did do up onions separate because not everybody likes onions. That looks friggin' amazing. Wowzer dowser. And I just put some wood in here. This fire feels so good. So good. Hey. Well, good morning, friends. It's Tracy and Ding and Dong. Ding Dong from Nova Scotia Living. And Mikey there. It's um, what's today? Today's Monday. It's about six o'clock in the morning. I just got back from my walk. I just made myself a coffee. And do I look a year older at all? Today's my birthday. <laughs> Birthdays aren't a big thing for me. You know, some people are scared of getting old. I'm not. I'm not at all. I look forward to each year that comes. And the closer, I'm just going to try to take it day by day and enjoy my life and it's all fine. So today is my birthday. <coughs> I really don't want anything for my birthday, but, you know, for the children, everybody's supposed to have something for their birthday. So I told my husband, I just don't want to have to make anything for supper. So we'll get some sort of pizza or something. And, um, Mally told my husband to get McCain's cake because that's my favorite. I don't really want to eat it because I will want to eat the whole thing. But we will get a McCain's cake because I love them. And I've had one for every single year. So why not? And yeah. The kids go to school today. It's cool out today. Um, for heaven's sake, Force. He sounds like he's like... Throwing, moving furniture around. Anyways, I'm going to have my coffee and I'll be back in a little bit. I'm going to enjoy the serene quietness. Not so quiet. But I will have to get the kids up soon anyway. So I'm just going to have my coffee and I'll be back. Alright guys, I'm outside with the big kids. It's raining. Oh, I don't know, the little kids. You can't even see. Them was over there, I didn't even know. All right. Have a good day, children. I love you. Oh, have a good day, Devin. They all got their heavy jackets on. Not quite winter ones, but fall ones. You need more than a sweater today, baby. Woo. I have my arm up over top of you guys. Alright, there they go. You what? Alright guys, um, Mazai's up. She's out there getting her breakfast. I had planned on taking Violet and Boris to the beach this morning. Once the kids caught the bus. But it's friggin' raining out now. Raining and cold. And it says it's supposed to rain all day. Which is disappointing. It wasn't raining when I went for a walk this morning. 
Yeah, just a minute. Yeah, it wasn't raining this morning when I went for a walk, but it is raining now, and Google says it's supposed to rain all day. So I don't want to go to the beach in the rain with these guys. It's already going to be cold there. And <coughs> get totally soaked. Not good. Oh, i got to turn my flash on. Ooh. All right, guys, I am upstairs in my attic. And I just made a giant mess. It's blurry because it's dark up here. Um, over in this corner, there was a this. But it was off kilter. So I took all the movies off. Now I regret my decisions. <laughs> I was up here initially looking for a friggin' Halloween costume. One of those inflatable ones with an alien. Oh. I bought it last year. I can't friggin' find it, but then I got distracted by this. So I fixed this mother flipper, and I gotta be. I had to find a piece that fell down. This is a very old house, guys. Down in the crack there. Yeah. So now I need to try to fit it back in here and maybe do something with this. What do you think, Jimmy? Huh? Ooh, the conjuring. Mm-hmm. Meet the Falkers, Crybaby, the Birdcage, Mystery Men. Oh, gosh. Oh, you guys finally decided to brave it and come up here. They always whine a bit before they come up. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. You shouldn't be either. They're all friendly ones here anyways. All right, I'm gonna see if I can squeeze that big arse thing in here. It's about five after eight. I need to go down and make sure the kids are, the big kids are getting ready. But I got distracted. And when you get distracted, that's what happens. All right, I got it there. I can hear the rain outside. Maybe I'll watch a movie up here. Huh? A scary movie? The Exorcist? Something? I do got wine down in the basement when I was down there cleaning that table, I don't know, a couple of weeks ago. I have leftover homemade wine that I have down there. <laughs> Maybe I'll do that. All right, guys, we're outside. Uh, hey. I just threw out some peanuts and stuff and some seeds, sunflower seeds for the birds and the beasts. Randall's up there in that tree. It's cold and rainy and wet and damp and goes right to your bones kind of day. So Misha and Mays were wearing um, not quite winter jackets, but more than a... Oh, Randall, don't go anywhere. I love you. Oh, he just wished me happy birthday. Thanks, bud. Anyways, yeah, I got the fire going. Oh, Oscar or Timothy, I forget which one, is going down to get his breakfast. Love ya, have a good day at school, children. You're the bee's knees. What? What? Oh, okay, go. I don't have money. Dad's going to be at the school. Go see him when you get there. Oh. See, there's peanuts and some flower seeds. He's he's right on this tree. He's coming to. He'll go get a peanut and bring it up and come down. Violet's keeping a hawk eye, but as I said, today's the day of the haunted house, and it's two dollars for the haunted house, which I didn't know. So, but that's or like my husband already went to town this morning, like six thirty. He goes to the gym and then goes to the. Like an office. All right, you guys, we'll go in and finish up that attic a little bit. I'm not doing the whole attic, but just putting those movies back on the shelf. All right, guys, I'm just listening to 80s music. I haven't gone back up in the attic yet, but I did a load of laundry this morning. I'm going to hang up some towels. I still haven't even opened the blinds. I got to do that. All right, friends, I hung that stuff up. I just opened some mail, which will be in a video a couple of days ago. But it was perfect timing. I got this from my 
friend, um, Vicki, sent me this one. Beautiful dog. And Lisa sent me two cards. She sent this one for my birthday. And this one for Halloween. Isn't that an awesome card? I love it. I love it. And got some uh, hats and mitts and a nice mug that says peace. We're all about peace here, aren't we? We should be. Anyways, yeah, I'm going to go upstairs and edit a video because I was just, this was an ending of a video um, from the other day. I just didn't have an ending on it. I thought I'd open that mail because it was the day that I got the mail from Dad. And yeah. Anyways, I'll be back in a bit. All right. Um, it's 127. I have been editing and editing and editing and editing. Ooh. So I didn't finish what I was doing up here. I got distracted again with real life. Ooh, it's cold up here in the attic. So I got, let me turn my flash on. I got, it's standing up straight. See, it was like tilted. Um, I'm not doing this. I was just doing this one. Anyways, these are some kids ones that need to go over on the other shelf. And I'm just going to do this. Oh, I've got ones there too. I'm going to do the bare minimum. I'll clear the floor at least. And then I'll check back. All right, that's done. And I actually took the... I had this screen thing in the window. I shut that window. Oh, and I picked out some movies for my sister Carrie next time we change movies. Um, I'm at the top of the steps. There's the... I watched Hereditary the other day. I watched it one time before when it first came out. It scared the bejesus out of Medea when she watched it. And I watched it few years ago when it first came out. Anyways, I watched it by myself the other day. The night that my husband took Mally and Mosiah up to Five Nights at Freddy. Put the kids to bed and I watched that. Whew. Anyways, that part of the attic I can't get to. You can see in there. I'll show you after. Reminds me of that movie. It's a good one if you like horror movies. Anyways, movies I picked out for Carrie was Too Wong Fu. Thanks for everything, Julie Newmar. You know, Strawberry Social. Baseballs, Meet the Fockers, Howard the Duck, The Best of Will Ferrell, Saturday Night Live. I have a lot here. I don't know if she'll want them all. Austin Powers 1, First Sunday. She's not into scary movies, so I don't get scary movies for her. The Mask. Blades of Glory. Mystery Men. Hidden Figures. The Birdcage. Heathers. Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, Swiss Family Robinson, the old, like, Disney one. Oh, Flight of the Concords, hilarious. Heat, really funny movie. News Radio, it's the series, I don't know how many series, the complete series, but I forget how many seasons there are. Wild Hogs, Alice in Wonderland, Me, Myself, and Irene, and last but not least, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Oh, yeah, I've showed you this before, but this is that part of the attic. You can't see. There's a... It's like a big room. But I have no way to get in there. There's a rope or a cord or something hanging from the ceiling. But it's not picking up on my phone. Anyways, hereditary much?
Oh, I forgot to say, my husband got home a little while ago while I was upstairs editing. He's going to go back into town to pick up. I just ordered pizza light. I'm just like, whatever. This is what he got. <laughs> I know they're just store-bought cakes, but I love these cakes so much. I don't buy them because I will eat the whole thing. And he must have got Smarties for the kids to put Smarties on it. And we ordered two party pizzas from Pizza Delight. And he's going to go pick them up around 3 o'clock. All right. I'm sorry, Violet. I'm not taking you guys out right now. <laughs> it's 2.24. The kids will be home soon, but it is raining out and it's minus one. It's what it feels like is minus one is what Google says. And it is cold. So I will get... Well, Masai usually takes them out when she gets home. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I can't warm myself up, so... Yeah, usually I'd go out and sit in the uh, outside. I just put moisture cream on my face. Wash my face, put the cream on. And oh, sorry, honey. When I came downstairs, that fire was just about out, so I had to rebuild the fire. So I'm sitting out here, so I can get warm because downstairs is really cold. I do not want to turn on the furnace, but um, yeah. So I'm gonna get this puppy pumping and jumping and gonna get hot up in here which will be good because that goes up to Misha's room which is attached to Mal uh, Maze's room and uh yeah I just want to get it warm in here oh it's so nice and cozy I'm just chatting with uh Kara I was talking with Medea yesterday, I think it was. She had Evie's birthday party on the weekend. He turned six years old, which is amazing. His actual birthday is until the second. But they had the party on the weekend. Um, so people could be there and stuff. Um, but, yeah, they're both, Kara and Medea, are both have beautiful baby bumps. And I can't wait to meet my grandbabies. And I can't wait to be able to see Evie and all those guys. I so wish I could have been there. But I did send him a present, um, a couple of presents I just ordered from Amazon. I'll put a picture here to show you. I think I hear the bus. Do I? No. Oh, that's my husband. Oh, he hasn't gone to town yet. He was going to go get the pizza. He must be waiting for the kids. Oh, yeah, he must be waiting for the kids just to, because I'm not out there. But yeah, it's raining and it's cold. And I want to sit by the fire. Oh, somebody's, oh no, my husband's car's going, but he's outside with the umbrella. <laughs> he's out there. There he is. He's waiting for the bus. <laughs> that's funny. Well, it's not funny. That's good. I'm glad. Oh, he can't wait no longer. The bus is a little bit late. This note was on the door that said the doorbell doesn't work. It's been on there so long. You can't even see what it says before. Oh, gosh. Yeah, we have the... Uh... Oh, there's the bus. Excellent. I'm so glad that they wore their jackets. They should have had hats on if I'd have known. Tomorrow's going to be even colder. It said the high of four, I think, low of zero. But if it's like this, it'll feel colder than zero. And on the East Coast, it's a really damp cold compared to out West. They know. Well, I don't know. They're taking forever. <laughs> Maybe they're going to hop right in the car and go right back to town. Oh, I think Misha is. She looks like she has the back door open. Oh, no. Come on, Mish! Is Mays going with Dad? Yeah. Oh, he's going with Dad. Okay. How was school? 
Good. I missed you. Yeah, I didn't uh, go out because it's cold and rainy. Yeah. Hang your... Yeah, what happened? Was there something going on? No. Well, not really. It's just, there was a little kid there, and now the Oh. Oh. Did he bump his nog? No, he bumped his butt. Come on. Misha got this dress at Frenchie's the last time we went. She's going to go outside and dirty it because she's going to be a zombie. We're listening to Monster Mash right now. Oh. It's all right. You're going to be a put-together zombie. Go outside and throw it in the mud. All right. Find a good muddy puddle. Probably over there. That's mostly water. Well, you can lay it right in the puddle and walk over it. Oh, it's all right. It's hard to stay yeah, the dress is probably excited for Halloween, too. So it's okay. Mm -hmm. Sure. I'll or over there, I find it's... Like I'll go walk in the puddle so it's all muddy. Yeah, good idea. I'm going to stand here. Those are those yellow boots I got from Frenchies before. They were brand new. They fit her perfectly. <laughs> Throw it in and walk over it. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> She's She likes pretty things, but she purposely got this dress at Frenchies for this. Kick her around. Oh, look at the mess. Then we'll throw some fake blood on it. There, that's good. <laughs> Mud puddling. All right, bring it in. I'm going to have to wring it out because so. Oh, yeah, I'm going to have to wring it out. My husband and Maze just got back. We'll open up the pizzas. There's some donair sauce. And he's gone back out to the car. on. <laughs> so there's a works pizza. And there's an all meat pizza. Yes, I'm turning 64. What is that? <laughs> My husband got a third cake because, you know, we got to make sure we have enough, I guess. So the first chocolate cake, I cut it into four slices so everybody got a nice big chunk. Mosiah wanted the cookies and cream one. My husband had the other chocolate one. This whole cake is mine if I want it. But I am going to have a little slice. I can't help myself. Cannot help myself. That's my piece of pizza I couldn't finish. But I will be finishing it later on. Absolutely. Violet and Boris are just eating their supper now. And yeah, it'll be good. Well, hey friends, it's Tracy from another day. It's actually November 1st. I know this is my birthday vlog. Whew, 
um, that was a good day. It was just kind of a laid back, chill kind of birthday, just the way I like it. I don't like to make big whoops about it. It's not a big thing, but I didn't have to cook and I had delicious cake and I was around my family. So that's, that's what makes my birthday special. So, whew, I just got in from sending the big kids off on the bus, but I want to go up, um, and get tubs out of the attic because I got to take down my Halloween stuff. And before I do that, I will put this ending on a video so it does its thing while I'm doing that. But thanks for coming along. I did film Halloween, so that video will be coming up next. And then this one, I guess. I think. Yeah, that would be it. Um, the fire's going. It's cold outside. My fingers are numb. <clears throat> but everybody's happy and healthy. So, anyways, I'm going to say peace, love, and happiness today and every single day. What do you want, Boris? Please like, share, and subscribe if you so choose. But if not, that's okay too. I still love you. I still want all the happiness in the world for each and every one of you out there. I certainly do. I really, really honest and truly do. Yes, I do. No, Violet, that's enough. Violet, that's a little forward, isn't it? Okay, guys, with that, I'm going to say have a good night or have a good morning. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Boink.